So now that we know what self-control success and failure mean, let's take a look at how we are going to understand through the course of this online class how to create more effective self-control strategies. The real problem comes down to this. We overestimate our self-control ability. We all think we will be able to resist temptation when temptation arises, but the true of the matter is we don't. When you ask people in studies to report how likely they will be to resist temptation, people say, oh yeah, I could do it. I could definitely do it. I could totally find you, of course, I could do it. And then, and then you give those same people a temptation they crave more quickly than they felt that they would. It's just a fact of how we go about our lives. We want to think we can do it. We want to think we can control ourselves and control our impulses. But when something is like staring us in the face, like this cake, for example, whatever reason not being covered by, let's say, a plastic or, or anything, you know, that we see it just in the refrigerator, when it's staring us in the face, you just cannot help but go for it even if we thought we could resist that urge. So let's take a look at one study that demonstrates this overconfidence we have in our self-control ability. This study has people who were hungry and people who just eaten. So they either asked the questions to people who were about to eat lunch. They were really hungry or they asked the exact same question to people who had just finished eating lunch. So they weren't as hungry as they might have different ways of thinking about their self-control abilities because they don't feel that hunger right now. And what they did to these people is they gave them an opportunity to choose between a range of snacks and they wanted them to choose sort of whichever one they want and they got to take that snacks home with them. And here is the thing. If they then returned it only one week later, they will win money. So basically, this is setting up a self-control opportunity. So I get to take a snack home with me. And as long as I can resist the temptation to eat it over the next week, I can win some real money. And here is what they found when they looked at the people who were not hungry. Hungry people generally are better able to understand. Listen, I can't resist any temptation. I'm so hungry right now. But people who had just eaten these satiated people, they believed they could control them themselves better. They thought, hey, this is no problem. I can take this snack home. I can avoid eating it and I'm going to get myself some money. So when given the choice, unlikely the hungry people, the satiated people choose their favorite snack among all of the choices. So basically they are choosing the hardest thing to resist because they think they can do it. So they are there making it even harder for themselves. And as a result, they were more likely to fail those who were so confident that they could control themselves and then choose their favorite snack were the most likely to cave to the temptation and eat their snack. Over the intervening week, the point here is to realize that you are not as strong as you think you are. Listen, I would love for it to be the case that we are all self-control masters already, right out of the box. But if you are taking this course, you probably already have some sense of the difficulty involved in controlling your impulses. Temptation is strong and we usually think we can resist it. And so we don't do anything to counteract its influence. But what I really want to sell to you is this idea that this is fine. It's okay that you are not as strong as you think you are, but be realistic about how strong you are and take action to create better self-control outcomes for yourself. It's only through concerted effort that you are going 
to be able to achieve the goals that you want, especially when these temptations are trying to distract you from those goals. So what are we going to learn in this course? We are going to learn mental strategies for enhanced self-control. We know now that we are not as good as we think we are. So let's abandon that false understanding right away and instead embrace the fact that it's going to take a little bit of work, some tricks and techniques in order to better assist in resisting temptation and achieving our long-term goals. The first thing we will talk about in this course is making a plan effective. Self-control begins with a little bit of foresight. So in this first section of the course, we are going to take a look at strategies you can use to plan in advance for moments when you can take an opportunity to do a healthy behavior, but also plan in advance for what you are going to do if a temptation comes across your desk and you have to start it in the face. After that, we are going to cover some thoughts about rethinking temptation when even if you try to keep it from happening. Temptation comes across our lives every day. So look at the temptation and think about it in a new way. Read construe the temptation in a way that makes it less tempting. In this section, you are going to look at some strategies you can use to do exactly that. We will also take a look at strategies you can implement to help build your self-control muscle. A lot of people talk about self-control muscle that you need to work out and develop and create a better, stronger self-control capacity in order to be more effective. So in this section of the course, will cover those ideas as well. So let's get started. Why delay anymore in the next lecture? I'm going to give you one more quick overview of the ingredients needed for effective self-control. But then for the rest of this course, we are going to get down and dirty with some of the important psychologic proven strategies for self-control. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.